we are still moving in here. We got a lot of stuff just still sitting around, but we plan on finishing this room today, and then we have something really fun we want to add to this space. Now that the room is clean and hopefully it stays that way, we do have a couple, uh, we wanna do some wall decor there and over here too. But other than that, this room's looking real nice. And a lot of you guys already know that we love having family movie nights, but we don't like having a TV on our walls. And that's why we like projectors so much. And then you don't have this big old black square on your wall for a long time. So that's basically the look we're going for. And we don't have a lot of room down here, so we're just taking advantage of every like little square inch of this room just to make it the most functional it can be. A few days after we moved into this house, Ben Q invited us to CES 2023 to go check out all their latest and greatest technology. It was so cool to go out there and meet them finally put a face to these emails. We've been in contact with them for two years now, so it's been really cool to actually uh, get to know them. They're all wonderful people and they're just like really down to earth. A great, great team to work with. They wanted us to try out one of their new projectors and we're really excited about it. And I think it's time for our kids to have a fun uh, movie night because they've been through a lot these last couple of weeks uh, with moving and all that exhausting stuff and almost dying on the way here. Before we get the projector out, we need to get our portable projector screen up on the wall. And the reason we like that it's portable is because we wanna be able to take it down when we're not using it. We're gonna put it up on some hooks and then whenever we're not using it, we can put it out in our garage, which is out that door. So it's not a long walk, but uh, it's definitely the way we wanna do it. So here we go. To hang up the projector screen, I'm gonna be using these cheap little hooks that I found on the Amazons. Ben Q has an awesome calculator that lets you know exactly where your projector screen needs to go and how far your projector needs to be in order to get the screen size you're looking for. And the screen size I'm looking for is 120 inches, baby. Side note to myself, don't ever get drywall dust on Savannah's plants. All right, so this 120 inch projector screen is being held by these hooks up on top. That's pretty much the only thing that's staying in this room when we're not watching something, but this looks pretty good. All right, you guys, this is Ben Q's brand new 4K projector that we drove all the way to Las Vegas to go check out. It has a lot of cool features I'm excited to show you. We do have two other projectors. One is called the TK850i and the other is called the V7050i. And I know all those letters and numbers can be confusing, don't worry about that. But I think this one is actually the best bang for your buck and I'm excited to show you because it does some pretty cool things that your traditional projector cannot do. guys first looks this thing is very small it's smaller than the other two projectors that we have and then do you see this whole section all under here see all that that is a 360 degree speaker so no matter where you are in the room you're gonna hear this thing loud and clear with our other projector it would be on a table so it only had speakers in the back so all the kids that were in the front of the projector couldn't hear very well that's not gonna happen anymore there's also a couple other audio features that I can't wait to show you so let's get this thing started and show you some other cool things it could do so with your traditional projector usually you have to stand right in the center of the room to get that perfect flat big image right not with this guy. Check this out. So, take the plan off your table if you have one. Set this guy like so, right there. Out of the way, not in the middle of the room. You're wondering, how are you gonna get a flat image with this? Let me show you. Included with the projector is an Android TV stick and that turns your projector into a smart projector. <laughs> 
right, you guys, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things about this projector. This is what the, a normal projector would look like if you put it on the side. You see how it's like normal there and then it just goes crazy over there? All right, well check out what this thing can do. If you just go to 2D Keystone, Hold on, hold on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Whoop, right there, look at that. Now we have a flat image coming from an angle on the projector. This is awesome because if you think about it, if you think about it, you now are only taking up this much space with the projector. Look at that, I'm not even like covering it. There I am right there. Instead of the picture coming like this, like I could walk here and you're not covering the screen. So kind of like our ultra short throw projector, you can walk in this area right here and not cover the screen and distract anybody. So that's one of my favorite things about this projector that you can do. I mean, look at it. It looks so cute over there. And then it's just, that's awesome. So, now that you've seen that, let's test out this audio, because I want to see how this is. Now we have the light on in here, so it kind of changes things a little bit, but it's just so you could see me. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds really good all the way around. So no matter where you walk around the projector, you can hear very clearly. Beautiful picture. Doesn't the beach sound so nice to you guys right now? Think about it. So the light bulb in these projectors is different than a lot of other traditional projectors. It is called a four LED light bulb, which means it will last about 20 to 30,000 hours, which is crazy. Um, back in the olden days, the light bulbs wouldn't last and then you'd have to switch them out and the bulbs were very expensive. So these efficient lights are really gonna last a long time, which is pretty awesome. Another one of my favorite features about this projector is you can press this button right here and it turns blue. And what it does is it hooks up to any of your Bluetooth devices and turns into an external speaker. I mean, this thing gets really loud. So you could be in the kitchen, you know, like hanging out over there and you can have music going on over here. The kids could be in here reading, listening to Adventures and Odyssey, all that fun stuff. The projector light isn't on or anything, so it's not gonna be wasting life, bulb life on there. I love the idea of having a massive speaker in our living room, so this is one way to do it, so I think that's pretty cool. All right, well, we're gonna turn on a movie for the kids tonight. We're gonna be watching The Prince of Egypt. The kids love that movie. We're excited to see what they think about our new projector. Um, this thing's awesome. I just love how durable it is and it's also really small so it's not really getting in the way. It's also out of the way so I, I, there's just so many benefits to this type of projector and we're really excited to have it. Kids are excited to watch a movie so let's get to that. All right come check out the new projector. Uh-oh it's over here. You can't even see it. It's hidden over there you guys. Over there, right here, look. Look, even Noah's not blocking the screen. Look at that, isn't that crazy? 